There's a growing chorus calling on the NDIS to throw more support behind people living with a speech impairment. Experts and those living with the condition want the government to give sufferers the recognition they deserve. It's the crippling disability hiding in plain sight. It's when I started to look for jobs and that's when that's when it really hit me. Dennis struggles to say even the most basic words. My first interview, I was in a room, you know, had three people there interviewing me. They asked me what my name was and I, I couldn't say it. Now he runs a support group where other people with a stutter share their struggles. I remember on my first course, I was 21 and there was like 50 other people in the room and everyone has a stutter. It's like, before that, I maybe met one person. It was, it was, that was life changing. But it comes with a catch. Neither the participants nor the program itself receives any funding. The NDIS says it does recognise stutter as a disability, but many say the requirements to access support are stricter than they need to be. Now, the government says they already support just over 2,000 people with a sensory or speech impairment, but experts predict the number of sufferers out there could almost be as high as 260,000. I think we need to keep in mind that that broad definition of sensory and speech issues doesn't necessarily mean, in fact, I'm certain, doesn't mean that everyone who's accessing uh, funding under that category is stuttering. Dr Erickson predicts as many as one in every hundred Australians have a stutter and, to top it off, sufferers also commonly struggle with their mental health. We do know that about 60 to 70% of adults who present with stuttering also present with social anxiety. Leaving those with the condition thousands of dollars out of pocket with no change to the system in sight. Declan Milton, 7 News.